64 Valiant Steed, and I've done a video of my place before, it's Valiant Lounge, and uh, you can check that video out. But this time I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things in my kitchen. As you can see, I've got these great containers for pies and cake, and um, I use them when I go to parties, Thanksgiving, Christmas events, and uh, you know, it makes a really good impression when you bring a a really nice pumpkin pie or apple pie and they can see it right through the container. Um, these plastic ones are they are pretty fragile so I have to be really careful. I don't like to leave them over at people's houses nor would I even think of leaving this black and silver pie and cake pan uh, at uh, somebody's house. But um, you know if I go to a party where I want to bring like a chicken pot pie I'll put that in the top and then a, a nice good layer cake in the bottom and it's kind of fun, you know, you show up with something like that, that alone starts a conversation. And then, of course, if you make good food, that really makes them really happy. But um, I've got those hanging up on the wall in my kitchen so that when people come over, it's kind of a good conversation piece. I thought I'd go over a few of the things that I have here in my kitchen. I have a lot of cool old stuff. Um, this is stuff that I've been collecting for many a years and it goes back to my childhood actually because my maternal grandmother and grandfather had all this stuff when I was growing up in the 70s you know in New Jersey um, they had stuff from the 50s and 60s and when I was 18 here in California and long after I'd been moved away from New Jersey and all my family I went to a yard sale and I found a roly-poly glass just like this yellow for a quarter and uh, it's glass on the inside and it's plastic coated on the outside and from the stories I've heard is that the the uh, milkman would drop these off if you ordered you know a certain amount you get a couple of these and uh, so this is what this is what my favorite thing to drink out of at my grandparents house were these glasses I love them my cousins might tell you they really enjoyed the jelly jar glasses. Um, this one happens to be a Flintstones, and um, I have got a couple of jelly jar glasses. I think I've Flintstones and uh, the Archies. So, yeah, that's how this whole collection of all my cool stuff that I own is started from one of these glasses <laughs> and my childhood of being at my grandmother's house. As a matter of fact, the collection of these blew up where I ended up with over like hundred and something pieces but I got rid of a lot and I have these plus I have a box full in the garage got some you know all my bowls and things like that even my flatware superior stainless it's got little little stars on it which I got these because my Franciscan wear this is the Starburst. You gotta love that. That's the Atomic Age right there. That's what the Jetsons are all about. One of the reasons why I love my 64 Valiant is the push button transmission because push buttons are just <laughs> so atomic, uh, so futuristic. It's like the push button of the, uh, the blender, you know. Just think of uh, June, George and Jane Jetson uh, pushing all the buttons. So the stove is newer, but I've got this griddle uh, that makes it look a little bit older, and some of my old um, pots. And this is a uh, Fiesta ware. I don't even really even use that, but it's just kind of there for looks. When I was a kindergarten in school, my mother bought me one of these. So, of course, it's not the one that I had when I was in kindergarten. But um, about 15 years ago, I found that. And this last weekend, I found the matching thermos. And uh, took a long time because I didn't want to. I didn't pay the money that people were asking for these things because you know, if, if you know anything about these old lunch boxes, people charge uh, a little too much for them but people are trying to buy back their memories from when they were kids. Sort of what I've done. It's pretty much my whole life here is just because of when I was a kid. This is all what my grandparents had at their house. So I went to a party last week and I brought this 
particular container and I had brought a cake that was out of this world delicious that everybody, all you could hear were, mmm, mmm, this is so good. Oh my god, where did you get this recipe from? Did you make this from scratch? <laughs> and I found the recipe on allrecipes.com and it's the dark chocolate cake one and then I topped it with the cream cheese frosting too and they're a good complement to each other I changed this recipe just a little bit by adding an extra egg yolk and a cup of sour cream and uh, it becomes a little bit more of a dense chocolate cake so it's not risen as much as if you would have made it just straight like this where it's more like a box cake where it's fluffy and you know it's a little on the drier side but um, I'm going to another party tomorrow and so I made another one today and a uh, whole group of other people so they haven't tried it so I'm hoping to get the same reaction I got from the last party so I thought I'd give you a <coughs> peek at that that's a three layer cake very dense you only need a very small piece so this can serve um, a, probably 16 people because it's so rich and out of this world delicious so um, this cake pan uh, holder is really cool because the pie part is down on the bottom and so I've got candles and the uh, lighter and the frosting knife that I use for that just in case it gets a little smudge or something but I've got a long drive ahead of me tomorrow and um, I'm gonna put like ice uh, frozen ice packs in here to keep it cold so this is a great great way to go to a party and have a little style, a little flair, and good desserts, good food, good drinks, good company. It really makes for a great party. And when you walk in with something like this, you know, people just, it's an automatic conversation starter, especially when you don't know the people where you're going. And I'm only going to know my friend who I made the cake for tomorrow, so it's going to be a whole new group of people that I've never met. So anyway, I hope you like that. Um, take a look at my other video, Valiant Lounge, and uh, it's going to look a little different than the way it's set up now. I have my big screen TV in the living room now, and I've got a new aquarium finally that I was looking for. My cousin gave me that, and my friend took back his aluminum group chairs that are in the other video. So I've got my butterfly chairs in the living room. And uh, anyway, so. I'll do another video of the house here another time. I painted the living room so I took the curtains down and I'm trying to come up with an idea of what I want to do for the windows. As you can see over there I've got tissue paper on the windows. Kind of bland and generic right now but it's alright. So hope you like this video and it encourages you to go out looking at the swap meets or in the thrift stores and find yourself really cool containers like that. Maybe, you know, if you don't already have some, if you do, I'd love to see what you have. Let me know. Alright, thanks for watching.